Hello, everybody, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 3 of The Trivia 10. Today, our guest is Owen Patnod, a.k.a. on TikTok, Owen Hates Movies. On Instagram, Owen Patnod. Twitter, Owen V. Patnod. Your branding's kind of all over the place. You got Yeah, of... no, we're kind of a mess here. Nonetheless, all the links to his stuff is in the description. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So, 10 questions. I picked these questions specifically based on films you have logged and reviewed. The leaderboard right now, K Meeks is in first place with 125 points. You can earn up to 150 points in this episode, and Cam Walsh is in second place with the 85 points but 10 questions let's go ahead and jump right into it question one for five points your favorite film an american werewolf in london won an oscar in 1981 in the very first year that this particular award category existed which oscar award category am i talking about um it's like it's gonna be like makeup or something like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that well not makeup not makeup like it's gonna be like I don't know. It's like special effects, visual effects, that sort of thing. Well, you did have it at first. Best makeup. Wow. Wait, makeup. So makeup didn't exist until that year. Makeup was first in 1981. I don't know the exact year that it changed the makeup and hairstyling, but of course that's oh, what it is now. Okay. Question two. In Edgar Wright's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Scott has to defeat Ramona Flowers' evil exes in order to date her. How many evil exes does she have? Seven. 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 There we go. Figured that one. We start off a little easier, go a little further. Uh, the Oscar so now, one. That was, I mean, I don't, I'm not big on the Oscar. So. Going into question three for 10 points. Ryan Gosling recently agreed that Barbie can act as the third film in the unofficial Ryan Gosling is actually me trilogy after Blade Runner 2049 was the second installment. What is the first film in this not official trilogy, but what he would call his drive trilogy? drive. Drive is correct. Drive is correct. Question four for 10 points. Richard Linklater's Before Sunrise kicks off the Before trilogy when Jesse and Celine spend a night together in this European city. Uh, How well do you know your geography? <laughs> Capital city. So that narrows it down to like they're, 25 they're possible in answers. Venice. They're in Venice, right? You're close. Vienna. Oh, uh, I knew it. <laughs> I'm sure it's on, I'm sure it's on tip your tongue, but Vienna, Austria is the correct answer. They hop off the train together and spend a night yeah. kicking off one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Good, good movies. Doing very well so far. Uh, in Spider-Man 3, Eddie Brock is played by an actor who rose to fame through this comedy sitcom from 1998. Uh, that 70s show. That 70s show is correct. Are you even old enough to have watched that show or am I showing my age at this point? I watched it like it was on like Netflix like a couple like maybe like five years ago and I watched like the first two seasons and they took it off Netflix so I just never finished it. So I loved it growing up. It's one of those that like, I haven't watched it forever. Who knows if I would still like it but I, I, I couldn't get enough of it growing up. Question six. In Damien Chazelle's Babylon, which we're recording this on the one year anniversary of its release, Tobey Maguire plays the wacky role of James McKay. But when filming started, there were reports that McGuire was actually playing the character of this iconic early Hollywood actor and director. Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin is correct. Okay. I was like, it's either it's like Chaplin or Keaton. I know it was one of those silent yeah. guys. That's one of those that they when they first cast him, they said he was playing Charlie Chaplin, and then they just never mentioned it again. So I'm like wondering what point in the process like that was scrapped and the whole idea switched to James McKay. Doing great, like I said, and we're going into question seven. These are now going to be 15 points. And M. Night Shyamalan signs Merrill Hess, played by Joaquin Phoenix, holds five minor league home run records, but he also holds another record most people don't know about. What is the other minor league baseball record he holds? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know. This is science. I'm gonna be honest. Science is one of the one of the least M night ones that I'll I'll get. So I'm, I don't even know on this one. The right answer is strikeout record. Joaquin Phoenix holds the home run records, but also the strikeout record because he refuses not to swing. Going into question eight, another 15 pointer. Another one of your five star films, Jerry. The average length of each shot in Gus Van Zandt's Jerry is 60 seconds. Van Zandt says he was influenced by this acclaimed director of the 1970s and 2010s. Which director known for long camera shots inspired him? Bellatar. Bellatar, correct. So Bellatar, known for crazy long sequences of one cut nonstop. So heading into question nine, two answers here. You're going to get 10 points for each answer. So the Man in a Room trilogy concluded in 2013 with Master Gardener. Name the other two films in the trilogy. So we got First Reformed. That is one of them. Counter, card Counter. First reform in the card counter, 20 points. There you go. And we're jumping into question 10. So how question 10 is going to work is you have to guess the film based on the cast. You're going to get one guess per cast member. So you can just throw out a guess for Anna Kendrick. It doesn't count against you. If you get it right here, 50 points. Next slide is going to be another cast member, 40 points, then 30, 20, 10, all the way down. So we're going to start with Anna Kendrick. Twilight. 
Twilight, good pull. <laughs> yeah. Got it right away. <laughs> and surprisingly, we're three for three with people getting the last one on the first guess. So I don't yeah. know how to make this harder. <laughs> Cam got Deadpool 2 on Brad Pitt. That's a crazy pull. He got Carol based off of Sarah Paulson. Oh, so wow. good pulls from all of you. But the final score, you're going to be under K Meeks. <laughs> that damn, uh, that damn yeah, if, you did, if you didn't second guess yourself, you would have been cooking. We've had pretty high scores throughout this trivia, but I was kind of thinking to myself, like, do I want to make these questions harder? But I don't really want to just like invite people on and give them yeah, like, the no. most impossible question. Ever. Like, that's no fun. Incredible showing. You're in the second place now. Anything you want to pimp before logging off here? No, I mean, I'm really, that was, this was a lot of fun. I'm excited to see how the, uh, the other, the other people do. All of your stuff is in the description down below to go check him out on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Letterbox, YouTube. He makes short films himself too. So go check those out. And then of course, the Looks Like a Movie podcast, which is on all platforms, will be linked down below. Thank you for participating, Owen. You are now in second place with an incredible showing. And with that, we'll see you guys next week in episode four.